in this video we'll see 12th question in the java multiple choice question series this question is related to method over loading so i believe those who are watching this video as an idea of what is method over loading even if you don't have any idea i'll just explain the program so that you will get an idea of what is uh, method overloading okay so this is a multiple choice question we have four options and uh, we'll have to predict the output of this program method overloading is nothing that uh, you'll have um, more than two methods or uh, more than one method whose uh, method names are same but the operation we do is different same method name but different parameters okay the first line is public class test so we have declared a class and the name of the class is test next is your method so this is the method definition so void test so here the name of the method is test and the parameter you are passing is of type uh, float you are passing a parameter x which is of type float and inside you have a simple print statement next the method 2 so this method also have the same name so first method's name is test and second method's name is also test but the parameter which you have passed in method 1 is float and uh, the parameters you are passing in method 2 is double so this is what is the difference the parameters you are passing is different this is called method overloading same method name same method name but different parameters okay so here also it is very simple they have given only one line one print statement inside double next is your uh, main statement so the execution starts from main as we all know public static void main string works of so the first line is object creation so to access a method you need an object so we've created object here to create object the syntax is class name object reference equal to new class name here the class name is test so we've given test object reference you can it is user defined you can give any name i've given ob equal to new class name class name is test and then the open close brackets and semicolon so this is the object creation line the object has been created and the name of the object is ob now to access the method the method names or test to access these methods you need the object as i said so ob dot test and i'm passing the value 99.9 .9. so here there comes a confusion so two method names are test but you are passing a value that is a single value so there might be a confusion where to go but in java when you have floating type of data that is floating point type of data the value it uh, the value is for double okay so the default type of floating point value is double only if you mention it will go to float otherwise it is double the default data type for floating point is double so this 99.9 .9 will go to this method and the value of x will now be 99.9 and this method will be executed inside this method we have only one line that is a print statement system dot out dot print ln or system dot out dot print double so the output is double sorry here we should have a semicolon i missed it ob dot test 99.9 .9, and here there should be a semicolon okay that's it thank you thank you for watching if you like the video give me a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel thank you